Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I apologize for not posting um, videos in the last two weeks. Um, um, I wasn't feeling well. Uh, I'd like to make up for that um, now. So let's let's uh, get started on today's topic. So we're going to look at how do you increment um, auto, how do you create an auto incre increment value in a primary key column? So what do I mean by that? So, you know, let's consider you have a table um, and you do have uh, some columns. So for example, in here, you know, you have a customer table and you have a few columns there. Um, so obviously when you create a table, you need a primary key. Um, again, you don't necessarily have to have a primary key, but it's, you know, it's usually um, recommended to have one, uh, especially if it's useful um, for you to retrieve the data back if you, for example, have a primary key. Um, <clears throat> all right, so when you do have uh, a primary key, sometimes what you can do is basically create a primary unique unique values from within your application uh, using some sort of counter, and then um, store that into your uh, you know table. However, um, SQL Server does provide an identity um, type of column, which basically creates unique values onto your table. So what do, what do I mean by that? So basically, um, consider this table. I have a customer table. There's a few columns there. Um, and what I did was I created customer ID as a big int, um, just so that I can allow a you know, large amount of rows being created on this. I'm saying it's not null because I don't want a primary key to be null. And um, I'm specifying it as identity key. So basically, identity 1.1 one one means it's incrementing. So whenever you create a new row, it automatically allocates the uh, a new ID for it. Um, so what do I mean by that? So if I do a select star from customer, so at the moment I have about 663 rows. And if you can see the, um, the customer ID column, you know, it's 663. If I create a new uh, row on this, so let's say insert into customer value, um, let's say customer name. Uh, date of birth, email address. Delivery uh, address one. Uh, delivery address two, and then postal code. All right, so we have, a, um, I'm going to insert new values into it. So as you can see, I'm not, I'm not actually specifying customer ID in the um, values list. Now what I can do is I can say um, test customer, um, date of birth is blah, blah, blah. so 1990 01, 1st of Jan, uh, email address is whatever, um, test, customer at customer.com, uh, delivery addresses, um, something, it doesn't matter, so blah, blah, and then blah, 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 and then blah, blah, blah. All right, so if I insert this new value, okay, so basically that value, uh, okay, so that's failed because this is supposed to be values instead of value. All right, let's insert that now. So it says one row is inserted, which is what we've expected. Now, let's search for that customer name. So customer name equal to test customer. All right, so so this is a new row that we've just created now, and you can see it automa incremented the customer ID to 664. So basically what identity one is saying that, okay, so I'm, I'm going to create a new value, which is plus one, um, uh, based upon the previous value. Now, if I delete this customer, so if I delete from the customer, this test customer I just created. All right, so customer is deleted. And then if you look at the last entry on here, 63. All right, now you might actually think, okay, if I create a new, um, row now, can you think of what will be the new value, all right? Let's insert the same customer again back in now, all right? Let's do that. And then now let's see, 
Oh, okay. So see, you see? So the customer ID is now 665. So somehow it already knows that it allocated a value for 664. So even though it's deleted now, so 664 is not used for the new value or the new row you create now. All right, I hope you found that video useful. Um, this has been a short video um, just to explain about the uh, little concept of auto increment. Um, if you have any questions around that topic or, or if you have any uh, further topics you want me to cover, please post them in the comment section below. Um, I will make sure uh, I'll post more videos um, this week and um, also the coming weeks. And uh, if you do like this video, please hit the like button. And if you do want to uh, get notified of any future videos, please subscribe and uh, also hit the bell icon. Uh, I thank you and um, I hope you have a very good day. Peace. Thank you. Bye.